Here you've been given a circle and then you're asked to find the equation of this tangent line. Well, to find the equation of the tangent line, you need to know the gradient. So this is the center of a circle and you've been given these two points. It passes through these two points. You've got to work out the gradient of this straight line. The trick to doing this is that you can work out the gradient of this line and because you know it's 90 degrees, um, if you know the gradient of this line, you can always take the negative reciprocal in order to get the, the gradient of this. I will explain what I mean later. The first thing is to find the, uh, the gradient of this line. So the gradient would be the height, which would be 8. The height, or the height here would be 8. And the across here would be 4, because you've got to look at this. So that would be 4. So the gradient of this line is actually two the gradient is two now you know the gradient of this and if you want something that's perpendicular to it you have to take the negative reciprocal of this so so if you if you have a gradient of two and then you want something at 90 degrees you've got to take the negative reciprocal of this so so let's turn this into a fraction take the reciprocal which will be one over two and then stick a negative in front of it so if you, if you have a gradient of 2 and you want something at 90 degrees, take the negative reciprocal. So turn upside down, stick a negative in front of it. So we now know that the, the gradient of this straight line would be negative a half. Negative a half. So now we, we know the gradient, we need to work out C. So to work out C, to work out C, we need one particular point on this tangent line. We know one particular point. We know this point here. So this is your x, and this is your y. So put this into the x, put this into the y, and then work backwards to find c. So when you put negative 1 into the y, that would be negative 1 equals, put negative 1 into the x, negative 1 times negative a half will be positive a half, and then plus c. So our job is to work out c. So, um, so take away a half from both sides so that would be negative three and a half uh, three over two equals c so now um you can you can take step by step if you want but i'm just going to jump to this so this is your c now put it back into here so our final equation would be y equals negative uh negative a half x minus 3 over 2. So this is our final answer. You can rewrite this in many ways, one of which is to factor out the negative a half. So that would be x plus 3. So this is another way of expressing the equation of this tangent line. Okay?